Chinese sticky rice is so, so good, especially with Chinese sausages and shiitake mushrooms and dried shrimp. Oh, you've got to check it out. This is what we call Chinese stuffing. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. You know, Chinese sticky rice is not something that we just have at Chinese New Year or in restaurants. It's something that we can actually have at home. And it's one of our favorites for our family Christmas dinner. Being Chinese Canadian, our family gatherings are always multi-generational. I knew my great grandmother, so um, at least, or at the very most, we would have four generations. And it was my great aunt that used to make sticky rice for every Christmas dinner. Our Christmas dinners would consist of things from Western culture, like prime rib, and things from Chinese culture, like sticky rice and other Chinese dishes. I've been soaking two cups of rice for at least four hours, you can soak it up to overnight. And I am using a sweet rice, which is a glutinous rice, and that's what makes sticky rice. You can't just use any old rice to make sticky rice. It has to be the sticky rice, the glutinous rice or the sweet rice. So when I first started soaking the rice, I had about an inch of water above the rice, and you can see that it has soaked up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go drain it now before I start cooking it. I used a colander to drain the rice. I don't know if it's Uncle Roger approved, but- Drain the, oh my God, you're killing me, woman, hi -ya. At the very least, it's not cooked rice, I'm just draining wet rice. I'm gonna put it in this bowl that I know will fit into my Instant Pot. And we're gonna steam the rice today. So I'm going to just flatten this out a little bit. I've got my fancy homemade sling here that I just made out of aluminum foil. And I just like using it to lift the plate in and out. So I just wanna center that. And I'm going to put it down into my Instant Pot. I already have a cup of water in there, along with a trivet. This is just gonna slide in. Fold this over. And I'm just gonna use a regular lid. Using the steam function on the Instant Pot is probably the only uh, function that doesn't require the pressure cooker lid on there. So, where's the steam button? Over here? Here. Ah, okay. We're gonna steam it for half an hour and check on it, and if it needs more time, we will add more time, probably up to 45 minutes. Now, it all depends on how long you've been soaking your rice, how old your rice is. If it's older, it might take longer to soak and longer to cook. So we do wanna test the rice at 30 minutes to see if it's cooked through and then cook it a little bit more if we need to. If you don't have an electric pressure cooker, don't worry about it. You can use a wok or a Dutch oven, just as so long as you can steam, and it's for the same amount of time. I also have five stalks of green onion, and I'm gonna separate the white and light green parts from the dark green parts, because I'm going to saute this part and not that part. All right, so there's the green onions. Now I have six shiitake mushrooms. These are fresh mushrooms. You can use dried mushrooms if you like, but I would only use maybe three or four of them if you're using the dried ones because they are way more flavorful than the fresh ones. And I'm just removing the stem. The stem is actually quite chewy and I don't want that part in the rice. I like to cut things into little bits for sticky rice, but you can leave big chunks of mushroom and sausages if you like. I like to cube it up into these little <laughs> cubes because it's just the way I'm used to eating it. I'm also using a dried shrimp and it comes in packages like this. You can get them in different sizes. So the size that I have is actually quite big. So I like to chop them up a little bit more. So I've been soaking these, well, for a while now, but it only needs about 10 minutes in hot water. And then we're gonna drain this. I'm just gonna roughly chop them. It's about two ounces. I'm also going to use about five 
of these Chinese sausages. They come in a package like this that is vacuum sealed. And you can get ones that are just pork or ones that are chicken and pork. There's also ones that are made out of liver. I really don't like those ones. Whoops. Well, who does like liver? So again, because I like to chop things up into little bits, or actually, it's more like I don't actually like chopping up thing, things into little bits, more like I like the mouthfeel of the little bits of sausage as opposed to big chunks of sausage, which is why it's worth my time to chop it up. But you can keep them in bigger slices if you like. Totally up to you. I have two other recipes for sticky rice in my Chinese homestyle cookbook, and they are different. One is made in the Instant Pot, and one is a stir-fried version. They're essentially the same recipe, just cooked differently, and it makes a difference. The stir-fried version is more al dente feel to the rice, whereas the pressure cooker version is more soft. It's not soggy, it's just the rice is maybe more cooked than in the stir fry version. I know you like the fatty version, dude. Uh -huh. There are leaner versions of Chinese sausage. It just depends on what you like. The fatty version is way more flavorful. This is a much more simple version of sticky rice than I have in the Homestyle cookbook. They're all good though. My aunt loves to make sticky rice at Christmas and stuffs her turkey with it. And she always makes a batch that's been in the turkey and a batch that hasn't been. And I have to say the one that was in the turkey, so much more better. Wow, look at all the colors there. I know, I love it. That's one thing I do love about this rice. You put all the colors together, but some of the ingredients that are missing are um, preserved pork belly and what else is missing? Dried scallops. And partly those two items are missing is because my mom no longer lives with us. <laughs> And she used to pick up all these expensive ingredients that I could use. And because she's not here, I don't buy it myself because how, I only need like a couple of this and that and I'm not willing to purchase a whole entire bag. Turning my wok, heat on medium. And if you don't have a wok, you can always use a large frying pan that will contain everything. I'm using the wok because it'll be easier to put my rice in and to mix it all together. But I'm not cooking the rice anymore. The rice is done steaming and I'm just cooking up these ingredients to um, heat them up and to cook them through. And we're just gonna add our rice and some sauce and that is it. Dare I say that you could have this any night? I know, who has to wait till Christmas to have Chinese sticky rice? Just adding a tablespoon of oil to the wok. As soon as you see it smoking, that's the time to add it. And I'm just gonna add the green onions, the white part of the green onions first. I'm gonna cook that through a little bit, 30 seconds or so. All right, and then mushrooms and sausages. Oh, don't forget the shrimp. You just wanna cook this until the mushrooms are kinda of cooked through and the sausages are heated through. The sausages are already cooked. Oh, it looks so, so good. All right, mushrooms look cooked through. Everything's heated through, everything's steaming. That took about two minutes. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna go get my rice. All right, so the rice is cooked perfectly. It took half an hour and the kernels are al dente. I'm gonna add that straight to the rest. And when, we're not cooking the rice anymore. I've turned off the heat already. We're just gonna mix everything through with our sauce as well. You can check if the rice is done by just 
eating a piece, biting into a piece to make sure that you're not tasting or chewing into any raw kernels. I'm adding two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is light soy sauce. And if you don't have light soy sauce, it's just regular soy sauce. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And if you don't have oyster sauce, just omit it. Remember the sausages and the shrimp all have a lot of flavor, so you don't have to add much more to it. My great aunt used to tell me that the more stuff you put in it, the tastier it's gonna be. But keeping it simple is also good. You can use more of the same ingredients. And don't forget the green parts of the green onions. You wanna make sure that all the rice is broken up that there aren't any big, huge chunks of rice. All right, does that look amazing or what? And how simple was that? The worst part was just chopping up the ingredients. I gotta put it down, it's getting heavy, dude. I made so much. See, can you imagine this stuffed in a turkey? It would be awesome. Are you all ready for? Oh yeah. The taste. Hey, do you got a haircut today? Thanks. Merry Christmas to uh, everyone. If uh, we didn't say that earlier, Merry Christmas. As Flo had mentioned, Christmas does bring a lot of great meals. A mashup of Chinese and Western cuisine, but it's like, together, like our plates are mounding full of all the goodness, all the different flavors and textures. Flo, this may be a simpler take on your sticky rice recipes, but it doesn't look simple. The, uh, the colors and the different uh, ingredients in there, the aroma, oh. It's good, looking forward to this. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The rice is cooked perfectly, al dente, Mm, the right texture it really does make a difference with all the ingredients in the little bite size because you can get more, you can pack in more, more, more contrasting textures and, and flavors at once. Oh, so good. Great flavors with the uh, bok chong and dare I say mushrooms. Not usually a fan of the mushrooms, but this is really good. This is one of those dishes that you know, I talk about mouthfeel quite often, and this dish really delivers on that mouthfeel because there's a lot going on there. It's just straight up good. You gotta do it. All right, thanks, dude. Yeah. So this recipe is sort of a simplified version of my sticky rice recipes that you can find in a Chinese home style. Check it out. In the meantime, a Merry Christmas, wishing you all much joy, peace, love, and hope.